Went out to the field this morning and uh, not sure we have a truck left. Look at what uh, look at what B did here. She's she's laying on her frame. What do you think, B? No. <laughs> Old Braden this morning, he went right through here in the truck. Look at the tire there. Wasn't good. Boys are just starting. First strips of the day. Better watch out before I drive in that friggin' ravine again. We got old Spicy over here. We'll go see what he's doing. How's the yard going on? How's the yard CEO guy? Oh, it's not bad. Feel like a real boss just driving around in my pickup. Nice. Basically running the show. Nice. What are you doing? You gotta get Daryl some window wash. Why? Uh, be needy. Be needy. Typical combine guy. Nice. Keep it up. You got a better job? You're doing a good job, yeah. Yesterday we had a bit of an issue with the green card I was running the old Balzer 2000. She, uh, the front gearbox decided uh, she was done for the season. But uh, yeah, we were dumping and all of a sudden we just, a bunch of clang and bang and you know, look back, oil running everywhere out of the bottom of the auger. So there's usually, it's a PTO right here. It, uh, goes on to there's a gearbox that sits in this here usually uh, and then it go the PTO goes on the one side and then it comes down it's got a sprocket to drive the chain there on the other side and then uh, goes down to this big sprocket here which drives the unload side of the auger um, but yeah we're thinking that the issue started because it so it cracked the main like just cracked the main housing of the gearbox right in half like just split it right off we're thinking that when we got looking at it, this uh, big sprocket had slid down off of the main shaft of the auger. So it was running crooked. Chain was running crooked onto the gearbox. And we're thinking that that just was enough to make it pop. But, yeah, so that was uh, kind of shut me down for uh, most of the day. Well, all of the day, I only got one dump, so boss man there he's gone to get a new rental cart keep things rolling because we can't get a gearbox for like five days or something i guess so the old girl here she's gonna be running a 1400 bushel cart in the corn so she should be a busy girl today vroom vroom call bait <clears throat> Going to take a fat load from Tristan, I think. But yeah, finally got uh, back in the grain cart. No longer yard boss. We got uh, Kinsey uh, 1500 bushel cart, I think. Got her switched out. It's got the joystick, didn't it? It's kind of nice. Except the auger fold doesn't work. 
we're not sure why or because it unfolded just fine and now it won't refold so that is awesome but yep we got two carts going again Freight and rain the field yet or no i am yeah how far are you off from the south end uh pretty much right in the middle Hey, you can come down here and I'll try to get empty before the end of the pass and I'll just break out and make a new pass. Guess we're going to get some current. First big dumping Braden's cart. He got himself a new rig. New Kinsey 1300. Pretty cool. They're different looking cart. Not too bad. Definitely gonna help the cart situation out. Really working the combine day. Five and a half mile an hour and she's all she wants. What are you waiting for there, Billy Big Gregor? Get after him! Get her in gear, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, the balls are. Get out of here. Well, that's one field done. On to the next. Oh, legs are stiff. Boys are putting in a little fuel, or jet is there. T and uh, Colbster, they're just finishing out the last couple strips. But there's the balls here. She's uh, hooked up to the peak, but she's uh, still fully loaded of grain, so we thought we better hook her back up to the truck. In case she does something goofy and wants to sink down or something because it's uh, got like 90,000 pounds of grain in it or so so we thought we'd stay on the safe side look at the old rig here ah, with the rental cart 1300 bushel Kinsey she does the job we just we just don't know how to make the auger uh, fold back up so that's kind of awesome Time to juice the thirsty girl up. She's getting both today. Nice and quick. A little midday refresh. What do you think, Spice? What do you think? Come on! Oh yeah, big cart meeting. Nice. I don't know what these guys can't figure out the road. No. Rookie drivers. Rookie drivers. Uh, not worth a crap to be honest. Coming down that ditch there, you know, to dump on the trucks. That thing, she just draws straight down, almost took the cab off the feet. Like, I, not actually, but like, it was like, Coming down real close. How's how's the balls are treating you? The balls are doing good. <laughs> the balls are. It makes some funny sounds every now and then, but. Yeah. Well, mine doesn't fold. I'm just stuck hard all day long. Hard all day. Yeah, yeah, she's she's standing on end all day right there. We got uh, story time with Colby here. What what happened on your last dump? Nothing. Don't yeah. Worry about it. Yeah. Well, like, rumor has it, he's dumping. Stalls the whole tractor in the middle no, of the yard. No. Stalls right down. Engine no, quits. No, everything. No, no, just in the middle of the yard. He wasn't even dumping. He was just trying to get going. I think that's even worse. Yeah. And then, nonetheless, it's in front of the boss too. 
I don't know. I don't know if it's a rental. We just we, we found it that way. We gotta go. dump of the season down here for the U.S. corn run. We got uh, a thousand feet to go. And that is a raft. 